Wait, what? Wait, what's happened? What has happened? <laughs> what, what's he doing? <laughs> you, you haven't picked him up. You've, you've left him. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Yes, I know, every episode is special. I, I don't know why I say it, but this one in particular is very special because... It's my baby. <laughs> I have been working on, um, I know, right? Not ironic. I've been working on this um, for on and off for about a week now. Just every every time I've got like a little bit extra time. Um, and it's, it's getting to the point where I'm kind of happy with it. So I thought what I would do is show you. Show you. Exactly what I've been working on. We are here on Isla Nublar, as Ian Malcolm would call it. <laughs> For some odd reason, this time he says it Nublar. Because um, Jeff, you know, he's like, it's, it's been so long. He's like, well, they told me to say Nublar. <laughs> And as you can see right in front of me on Mount Saibo. I hope you've all enjoyed Falling Kingdom and um, have said your goodbyes to the park as the advertising has told you that so I don't even need to worry about the spoilers. But how about we say hello to the park and welcome you to Jurassic World! So this is my love child. This is a... Uh, what I've been doing um, while episodes have been uh, like sort of pre-recorded and uploaded and me ed editing them and rendering them and all that jazz. So how about, you know, what you can do if you are playing this on PC is, um, I think it's if you click Alt and then F2, you can enter this amazing mode. Um, so you can, you can sort of move around your camera like this completely free and you can zoom in, you can rotate, um, hold on, I think, is it, is this roll? Hold on, yeah, this, so you got move there, uh, you can also shift move in quicker. So you can get incredibly close to things. Um, it's almost like photo mode, it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic because if you click this, uh, the field of view, you can zoom in really close, or you can make things look epic like that! <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Uh, but in this, it allows you just to get close to the dinosaurs, or maybe, like, closer to things that you wouldn't normally be able to get, like, close to. Um, especially if you want to do, like, a first-person view of the park. But anyway, we'll leave that. That's just a little thing, a little hint I thought I'd let you guys know about. Wow, when constructing this, we'll take an aerial view. Um, of course, there is no power at the moment. Um, and, uh, because it's not connected. As soon as I connect the path, boom, the whole park will be powered. My god, it was a right faff, the whole process. But I loved it, because this is Frontier, and they give you loads of tools in order to help you, uh, just perfect things. Uh, little things I stumbled across myself, uh, accidentally. Like, so this is the most so lagoon, we'll start here, since we're above it. And I've put in, you might be able to see it there, there's a little lump. Uh, it was like, completely accidental, but I'm like, that's the Mosasaur now. <laughs> that's what that's gonna be. Uh, uh, creating this as well, I mean, I was- I used loads of concept art, um, that I'd found online. Um, again, you're making this in a game, and there's only so much you can do. Luckily, Frontier gave us a lot of screen accurate, um, sort of buildings. Like, this is the building that Indominus Rex, like, bumps into. Uh, the restaurant as well. Uh, has the Spino skull, not the actual Spino decoration, like the whole skeleton, uh, which we put in front of- this is where the T-Rex comes out of, which is Paddock 9. And then Indominus and what have you, uh, Blue and T-Rex have- Rexy have a fight here, leading up into the smash through here, and the Mosasaur claims the- the- the kill- kill steal, really. <laughs> they had it. Uh, another thing, like the RK, I think that was Dave and Buster's in the, in the movie. Uh, however, they obviously don't have the license for that. Um, so there's a lot of little things. Now, when it comes to recreating uh, screen accuracy, especially with this, I mean, this is like the- there's just so much you can do. The only annoying thing I've found is that you can't really put paths through a gate. Uh, gates cannot be closest to paths, so that's a bit of a nuisance. So there you go. Open Paddock 9! So this is where Claire runs. Claire runs through here in her high heels. And this is like... It, it, it's security-ish? Because it's all like, you know, behind. Uh, this is the park you don't see, hence the reason why it's sort of cordoned off with a concrete uh, fence there. 
Um, and unfortunately, there's no dinosaurs at the moment, but we will add those. Don't worry. I just kind of wanted to show you guys this because uh, it's something that like is I think is really cool. And I think you guys would think is really cool as well. <laughs> Okay, hopefully that all worked out, yes. <laughs> I just realized I was recording on the wrong quality, so that would be 30 FPS. This now, however, will be 60 FPS, yay! <laughs> so this is the T-Rex paddock, uh, or the T-Rex kingdom, I think they call it. Um, and I made it exactly kind of the way it looks in um, the concept art, which is this hexagon, which is very Indominus Rex looking. Um, I, there's nothing really you can do for viewing, like there's no log that you can have people walk through. Uh, so that's really the best I'm gonna do. Um, so you can, you can walk up here, well you can't really, this is restricted. Um, and this is where, uh, you know, you have the ACU team. Um, you have, this is where Hoskins looks out upon the park and he sees the pterodactyls, um, attack. Now, probably up here, that's the view when he's like, Mm, yes, die! <laughs> uh, and it was really hard to try and get Jurassic World to look like Jurassic World. Uh, so I had to heighten the um, the T-Rex enclosure just to make it stand out a little bit. Otherwise, it would be very flat. Um, I put these all on a hill and lifted them up. Separated them by trees because that's a really cool thing you can do. Um, you can hide a lot of like cables like these and trees. Uh, this is the power plant. Um, I think it's just too large with some extra, um, these will probably have power outages <laughs> a lot because I think there's only, there's like four, there's four outputs and one protection. So that is 22, 44, 88% chance of failing with a 45% chance of not failing. So in all, it's just over 50% chance. This, 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 this. Okay, hold on. Oh no, we're going too far ahead. No. <laughs> so like the Jurassic World is... Very, just, I don't know, there's only certain dinosaurs that you see in the movie, but apparently there was other dinosaurs there. Like, there was supposed to be Dilophosaurus, there was supposed to be Pachycephalosaurus. Um, so down here is the Pachycephalosaurus Battle Arena, um, which I think was on the maps and stuff. So we'll probably have some Pachycephalosaurus in here, some Sticky Molochs, all that jazz. Now if you go along the back, um, and you follow this path here, you come to the Gyrosphere, where it's like, Enjoy the ride, have a great day. <laughs> so this, um, I think I'm gonna make this the galley valley, because you see that, there's no trucks, of course we don't have trucks in this game. Um, but this is the monorail that goes along the side that you see Zack and Grey look down and the galleys are running about. Uh, the actual gyrosphere with the triceratops and all that is a different place. Uh, now if you look on the map for a start, in Isla Nubla, there's like restricted zone. All of this is like restricted and then I'd imagine Dominus and all that jazz is here. However, the way I've placed it, I could only, like the restricted zone's down here. That's restricted zone. <laughs> this, how, oh, looks like a face. Like that's an eyeball, that's an eyeball. He's going, <laughs> he's got a nose, I didn't even notice. Well then, um, so there was also the riverboat cruise that had the Baryonyx and the Suchomimus and all that jazz, um, which is this, which is going to be this. Now I wanted to do something different. I originally started with just an island and having the gyrospheres go around. Maybe in some DLC we'll actually have some river boats or something like that when we get aquatic DLC. But I added this, so I I had it in my head. This is going to look amazing, and I, I could have probably done it a bit better. Um, but that is the steepest slope you're gonna get. I wanted to have like a rice paddy look to it so you had all these different levels of water. Um, now I could if I wanted to um, maybe do that. It's just I'm it's it's a bit awkward with the um, like that's as that's as close as the waters can get to each other at that level. I think if I made this higher like this bit um, I could probably maybe it better but anyway it gives a really cool like if you're on the monorail you look down doesn't that look fantastic and anyway we got tea break yes even though it's a special episode we still need tea so when it comes to um making this uh, segment of the park i would really love to have sukumimus and baryonyx in the same enclosure however uh, maybe it'll be an update a patch i really hope frontier changes it so baryonyx and sukumimus can be gel together because otherwise they'll just kill each other um, and we could have some, uh, sauropods and stegosaurs. Like, if you see the, even in the movie, you get a quick glimpse of the, the river boats going down, and you see stegosaurs and apatosaurs in there, but it's supposed to be Sukumimus. Unfortunately, in this game, 
Sucubimus and Baronix will kill all herbivores unless they're sauropods. So uh, we can't have stegosaurs in there. Um, so yeah, that is basically the north of the island. Now usually, like I said, the movie over here, you, you know, it would expand even further and you would have the restricted area. But I've had to sort of make do with what I got. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you follow this. Um, along. Let's go to the left. Let's go left. Yes, yes, yes. So about here is where the concept art ends. If I was to frame it, that's all the concept I got was basically that. So then it leaves the rest up to the imagination because we don't really see it in the movie and um, the map, like the tour guides, only give you a rough guide and the lagoon changes shape every, every which way. So uh, we can go this way. Now this is the Mosasaur feeding area. Wait, doesn't it look amazing? <laughs> it'd be am it would be really good if I could just put like that and there you go. <laughs> but like it doesn't really work. Um, and over here, uh, we got another queue with the fence. This is what I love about like the game that it it really allows you to get these pinpoint precision uh, fence structures and path structures as well. That looks really cool. So this will be the Apatosaur, Triceratops, Parasaurolophus, all that jazz, and it's in a fairly sizable exhibit. Um, also, I wanted to make this park feel legit. So the um, the jeep, if it was ever need to go in there, would enter from here, and it's you know it's away from the park. It's away from where um, you know they drive through people and run them all over. Um, and this, you cannot actually uh, get from the hotels, because you enter here, into the park that way. You can, however, get a different way. So these are the hotels. Um, I originally started with three, um, and oh, sorry, two, and then I changed it to three. I put fences around the outside just to give it that little, like, you know, this is the, the wilderness, and then this is, you know, safe because there's fences. And of course, we got a little pool area here. <laughs> um, another thing, um, if Frontier wants to add it, because I know they've got it in um, Roller Coaster Tycoon, or it's not Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, you know, you, Coaster Tycoon. Is it Roller Coaster Tycoon? I think it's something like that. Anyway, um, is terrain. Like, I'd love to paint this as a beach because um, in the, uh, in the, even in the movie, this is a resort, this area. So if we could paint this sand, that would be so cool. Um, also, I've decided to make these, like, lower fences, um, to give it the feel like the fence is submerged, um, uh, because this is supposed to be deeper. Um, and then you can enter the park through this way. And this is the petting zoo! Yes! Um, with no trees, no water, and no feeders at the moment, because the feeders will need, uh, moving. Uh, sorry, uh, re replenishing, even if nothing eats them. So, um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to put in here. Maybe Archaeonothomimus. I can't really put, I could, maybe one trike could be big enough. I'm not sure. <laughs> the cages are pretty small. So whatever goes in them needs to not really be that fussy. And we can't get baby trikes either. That'd be amazing if we could get baby trikes. Uh, also, like I said before, I wanted it to feel like more of a real park. So, ah, to that end, I actually need to get rid of these and uh, have it look as though, yeah, see, oh, there's some McCores, so the jeep can come in through there, and then he's got the galley valley that way, and then he's got this one this way. Uh, I originally had this as concrete fence as well, just to sort of separate the main street from the petting zoo, but then I decided it's actually better if you're walking here, you can eat and then sort of see, uh, you know, it, it doesn't really affect the guests how happy they are, but for me personally, it was something that I was quite happy about. Also, you'll notice that everything is sunken. The exhibits are all sunken and the path actually isn't. Now that, um, I could only do so much. I had to start with one enclosure, get that perfect, then move on to the second one, get that perfect. And on the third one, you can't really, because if we go into um, the, you know, flattener, there's only so far you can get before you're going to start um, encroaching on the actual... Uh, path itself like that. See it's starting to dip. So and if I dip that I'm gonna have to you know l Flatten it from this which is gonna expand into the other way So it's kind of awkward, but that's the best I'm gonna get and also um, We if you want to view them because this park I want it to be five stars and you need to you know you need to view them uh, through the Attractions you can't just walk by fences and see the dinosaurs apparently I know don't know what frontier are thinking that uh, So we do have these to sort of cover a big area um, of all of the enclosures so dinosaurs will be able to be seen there also I actually put a monorail stop here yeah that was something else I wanted to go for the ac an accurate monorail uh, system to how it looks like in the movie um, th this bit in particular 
Uh, if you get it too close to a fence, you'll lose one of the uh, pillars. But I know, right? I, I've been doing this for far too long. <laughs> I know way too many boring things, how to make circular paths and all that jazz. Tea break! So you might be thinking, Beaver, I mean, it, it looks great. You've got the T-Rex. But, um, what about the Velociraptors? What about Blue Echo, Delta Charlie? What about the Indominus Rex? Well, well, that's why we have this. Dum, 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 dum. This is the restrict. I don't know what that was. <laughs> this is the restricted area. Um, so this is the Raptor pen. Again, like I said, the best I'm going to do. Uh, it's funny because in uh, Coaster Tycoon or whatever it's called, um... Rollercoaster Tycoon, I think that's the one. Um, the, you can have boardwalks. So it'd be really cool if you could have actual boardwalks here. Uh, so we have this perimeter fence running all the way, uh, separating. Now, the only problem is because they can't actually go into the, like, they, they can't go into the Outer Bounds area. Dinosaurs, if they would ever break out in here, would probably be able to walk round. <laughs> but I wanted to give it an illusion of, you know, ooh, what's beyond there? So if you come here, you can just see and you're like, oh, I wonder what's there. And you can see from the monorail, it's like, ooh, what is that? What are they working on there? It's not too private, but, you know, it's restricted. So they may, they might be able to see raptors. Now, raptors, I think, were supposed to uh, be an attraction on the island. Um, I think on the website when Jurassic World was around, it did say, oh, view our velociraptors. So maybe that's the case. However, here I wanted to, you know, you can sort of see them. Now, the one that is actually restricted, really, really, really restricted, is down this path. And this is a, still a work in progress. This is the Indominus Rex um, enclosure. So I wanted this to be even lower. So you're down here. You don't even know you're in a park. You just see, like, big mountains surrounding you. And, you know, if if the monorail may be able to just glimpse it, but I mean just glimpse. Like, you could, yeah, you could barely see anything. And I, that's, I, I think it worked out really well. It's sort of hidden and it's shrouded in trees. Um, so this is probably where I'm going to make all of my... <laughs> <laughs> dinosaurs and then air lift them out also you can see like there's different paddocks there for the um to check on the raptors even though if a raptor was in there it would break out instantly um because it would not be happy in the slightest in fact if i open it i'm sure raptors wouldn't even go in there um so yeah this has been a labor of love for the longest time and let's now that we're here actually am i able to do this or will it stop recording no, no, we're still in. Okay, I just I just kind of wanted to see how this would go. <laughs> I just want to get, like, some amazing shots of this. Uh, so this episode is just, like, me recreating. I think in the next episode, what we'll do... Ooh, look at that. <gasps> That's awesome. Yeah, there's Jurassic World for you. Building a Jurassic World. Yeah! Oh, wait, how far can we go? Whoa! Whoa! Well, <laughs> we can go so far out, so this is it. This is the whole of the pack. Fantastic. Now, if I was to zoom in, if I go zoom out any further, whoa, that is cool. I mean, we can, like, zoom in really quick. Let's just see what kind of amazing shots. Like, if we look from the hotel, ooh, <laughs> just look out. Oh, man, that's awesome. And if we go to where Hoskins looks out. Over to here. Uh, and yeah, and like, I've seen some of your guys' creations, actually. And, I, like, I've, I've looked at them and went, oh, that looks cool. But I didn't want to show mine because I was, I was still kind of working on it. Um, but one thing I do want to do is change the time of day because this is... Um, Oh, look at that. You can zoom. Ooh, look at that. Da, da, da. Drinks. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, because it is sandbox, I wanted to change um, the settings. So if we change it to... Um, dusk? Oh no, that'll be sunset. Let's change it to night. Because I, I I mean, that's one of the times we do see, actually see Jurassic World. And that is at night. Uh, so here it is. Oh, 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 it's fantastic. Now what we'll do... Now, th there isn't much light. I'm hoping that once I give power to the buildings, they'll be a lot better. So uh, let's do that, shall we? Um, I'm also kind of interested to see how... The, like Jurassic World Evolution thinks this park is doing because I made it the best I can to do with Jurassic World So will it give it five stars when all the dinosaurs are in? Who knows? So let's just connect this up. Shall we ready? And Boom, there we go 
Oh, 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 yeah, we, we've got light, I think, do we? I think, yes, yes, we, doesn't seem like much, though, if I've got to be honest. I mean, it's a little bit illuminated. I like the innovation center, how it has that beam out the top. And then we've got the lights flashing here. So is power being supplied to all the park? I just want to double check. Ooh. I th oh, right, because there's no path. Ah, yeah, that's kind of a problem because <laughs> this isn't connected to the actual park. Therefore, these I won't be able to add tasks. I'll just have to drive them myself uh, if I wanted to. Uh, but I mean, no real biggie. It's just the restricted area, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Um, so yeah, I'm, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to... We're going to stop this video here. We're going to pick up when I've completed it, and we're going to make the dinosaurs and what have you. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you in a second. Bye-bye. Right, we are back. I have finished off the Indominus Rex enclosure, as you can see. I've... Oh, God. Microphone, what are you doing? Are we good? You gonna stay there? Okay. Right, so I made um, some changes. Um, I realized that I couldn't actually have the um, the Indominus Rex enclosure sealed off. Um, so you have the main, like this is the way you're supposed to get into it. I know it's just bear with me, but I have to connect it to the main path. And other than making some sort of uh, like another monorail stop, which would have like this bit go all the way down here maybe and stop there and then curve all the way back around which means that guests would kind of be there um it's 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 not the best guys <laughs> like i had to i had to make it so this had to be like cuz i wanted <laughs> what was that sentence so yeah i had to i wanted to make a gate and separate this from the raptors just to show that like this is you know even more top secret um but however i you know if that's the best i'm going to do i have to connect them somehow otherwise there, there there's no way i could put a hatchery anywhere else in this park possibly like here i could put it but i don't know that just seems a bit weird um and I guess maybe I'll think about that once I start making dinosaurs. But apart from that, this is the perfect workaround. Um, so what I could do is like put some fences, like um, some electric fences or at least, uh, I don't know, some concrete fences going along here to make it look like they're not supposed to go in here. I have this bit, but apart from that, there's nothing I can really do. So without further ado, how about we connect this park up and um, actually start making um is the new blar so we're gonna go in here i'm gonna go into sandbox settings uh normal disease is fine rain only uh should we we should put like random should we have light storms we'll have light storms um we'll set it to day uh dinosaur escapes high escapes oh god <laughs> normal and power outages normal so uh yeah we'll keep that so also before i do anything i kind of want to save this Oh god, no, don't save over Noob Laffer. See all the different save files I've had to make just in case I screwed something up. So here we go. So now, I mean, the gyrospheres will start to go around. Yep, they're already there. They're already going. There's already people here apparently, even though there's no dinosaurs created. So is everything okay? Uh, there is no power here. That's something I was actually kind of worried about. Uh, zero and zero. <laughs> <laughs> ah, god damn it. I got no power to me hatcheries. Oh, no. I'll tell you what. What I'll do is I'll delete this. There we go. Does that does that help anything? Um, oh, I'd rather it lose power to the fences than I need, <laughs> I need this. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy. Uh, is there anywhere else we could put like another power plant? I guess I could put a power plant here. You know what? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just put like a mini power plant here. Didn't think this one through, got to admit. Um, so we'll put, I mean, I'll, I want to get it as far away as possible, really. Um, and, you know, a small, a small one, it'll do. And there we go. And we'll put like a little dirt path. That'll do. I mean, it's at the front. This is really not a part of Jurassic World I'm fussed about. <laughs> like that little corner. But if it's there... Hey, it's going to supply us with just enough power to, um, you know, power the rest of the park. I'm hoping. 
once it's made, because it's a small one, it'll take two seconds. So the challenges we're gonna have with this park in particular is keeping all the dinosaurs healthy and safe and make sure people don't die because we don't have a budget, which is good, um, but also it's about keeping the T-Rex happy in an enclosure this bloody small. <laughs> so what I could do is have like the Lophosauruses and stuff in here. There we go. Everything powered? Yeah, everything's powered. How much power do we- zero. Um, okay, that's zero. What's this one? 36. We got 36 power left over. So if we needed to upgrade our rangers or even, I don't know, the hatchery or anything, hey, there you go. So what will be the first dinosaur, the first dinosaur ever we make in Jurassic World? Um, you know what? I think it's only fitting that we make a Brachiosaurus and we've got to name them as well. Um, uh, so, um, a tundra, tundra is probably okay. So I think this Brachiosaurus is made so its lifespan is crazy good. Its viability is only 20%, however. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that's probably going to fail. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like uh, a couple of Brachiosaurs just in case. Um, now, the other dinosaurs that we should get, look at all this. Look, yeah, I also haven't done this, so we're gonna, you know, continue to get Sinceratops, Allosaurus. Like, all these dinosaurs existed on Isla Nublar. Sinceratops, Stigimo, like Allosaurus, Baronyx, and Carnotaurus. Um, so they need somewhere to go. God knows where they're gonna have to be, because, I mean... <laughs> this is why we need a bigger Nublar. <laughs> We have problems here. So I'm hoping that if it's gonna fail, these dinosaurs fail pretty early on. I've never seen a dinosaur fail at like 90%. I think once it gets over 50%, it's gonna it's gonna succeed. So if we get three Brachiosaurs, I'll be pretty happy with that. But how about, how about we make Rexy? I quite like that a normal looking Rexy. Um, I'm also... <laughs> Should we just start with like frog DNA? We need to make something that's not gonna break out if it's unhappy. Um, and to that effect, we can't make anything that's a herbivore basically. I think apart from stuff like a patasaurus, I think a patasaurus has a high population need or social need. Um, Triceratops definitely doesn't. So we can probably start by making some trikes. Um, and what, like trike tundra? Arid, pattern, coastal, I think step's okay. And you know what? I kind of I kind of want to make its attack up. So put the attack up on attack. Yeah, there you go. Crocodile DNA! Lifespan goes down by a crud ton though. I might just keep the brain aging. I'll keep the brain, brain aging. So its attack's pretty- its attack's okay. Wow. Okay. Do dinosaurs on use a new blood not fail? Because they do not seem to be failing. <laughs> it's good for me. So we'll just, we'll hang fire, wait for those dinosaurs. Oh, God, was it Brachiosaurus? 40%, we have a failure. Um, so that's okay. Hopefully the other ones will uh, fare a little bit better. So make another Triceratops. Come on, top Brachiosaur. If you get over 50%, please don't fail. Please. I, I really hope they programmed it so if it's over 50%, it doesn't fail. But we'll- Oh no, 45%! We're gonna lose all the Brachiosauruses! We'll make- uh, Should we have three Triceratops? We'll make three Triceratopses. And we're over 50%, so please don't fail now, Brachiosaurus. And just like that, we have our first dinosaur on Isla Nublar. The Triceratops. Makes sense. Oh, Look at it there! Look at it! Look at it there! Isn't it beautiful? You know what we should have done is have the um, tundra actually and make it more pale. Because I think the ones in Jurassic World were pale? They were all shades of brown in other words. So the we're going to have that Triceratops. And it looks like that Brachiosaurus did succeed. You know what? On this island, I think it's only fair that we have only one Triceratops. Um, sorry, only one Brachiosaurus. Because uh, if you've seen Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, well... Oh god, <laughs> it's all the way over here. Oh, look at that. So we've already got one and a bit stars. So have we got any people walking about yet? Oh yeah, they've spawned. Oh, look at that. They're running. They're going in groups of three. Okay, so oh, look at the helicopter going over the lagoon. Ooh, maybe I made the lagoon too big. What do you think, guys? Think it's too big? 
I think it's perfect. I mean, you think how big the Mosasaurus is? I think that's okay. Um, you know what I will do, though? Because that's our only helicopter, I may give it um, an upgrade. <laughs> uh, so we'll give add scheduling. And it's only two extra power. We got 30. So you know what? I'm going to give it three scheduling. Done. There you go. So we can add extras to it. Uh, so if I go to add that. Ooh, Dana's already to release. Is that a Brachiosaurus? So sedate that. Uh, yes! Guys, here it is! The Brachiosaurus that's gonna be on Isla Nublar. Ooh, I didn't actually think about its coloring. <laughs> but, well, there it is. We love you! We're not gonna forget about you! This is where the game truly shines. In the way the dinosaurs look. Oh god! <laughs> Chopping his head off. <laughs> Please! I've just been born! So, if we have a look at 144... So it lives for 251 lifespan genes. Is that plus 144? So it could live for th like 396 years? Is that right? It could be. Oh no, don't do not sell. Have we sedated any um any any dinosaurs? Uh yeah, we've definitely got one. Okay, what else? Oh god, we got T-Rex! <laughs> Forgot about that! Don't know how, but just did. So we're gonna have the stegosaurs next. Um I think should we just go for regular? I you know, we've gotta go for authenticity. It's still on minus like we've gotta up this a little bit. Um I mean 58%? Should we say 58%? So we'll incubate that. We'll incubate a couple of Stegos. Because Stegosaurus are one of those dinosaurs that need a lot. Uh, so we'll hatch... I think four is a minimum. I think you might even need five. So we're now going to move the... Oh, God. Is, does Brachiosaurus have a high social? No, it doesn't. Okay, great. So we're starting with the dinosaurs that do not need it. So Triceratops. Um, so this is the enclosure that has the Triceratops. It has the Apatosaurus. And all of those. So, I think adding the carnivores last is probably going to be the best option. Collect the asset. Um, oh god. Trike. Um, I, I would Can love to put a Brachiosaurus the in there, but I think the Brachiosaurus would probably not be happy. <laughs> so, if we're going to put a Brachiosaur anywhere, I think in here or here. But wherever we put it, it needs a lot of forest. Um, and unfortunately, we don't have many places that have a lot of forest, so... It needs to be big as well, and I think that's probably that's big enough. Here. A Brachiosaurus with the Gallimimus, that'll do. So, we have those. Now, to prepare the, um, the enclosures for the inevitable dinosaurs, what we'll do is I'll put a herbivore feeder right there. And then, because this is going to have uh, a Patasaurus's, we'll try and split the dinosaurs up. So, I think that it really does work that way. So if we have a herbivore feeder or a long neck feeder there. Uh, we also need a long neck feeder. Oh, no, not in that one. Uh, we'll put a long neck feeder in the trees. Okay, that just reduced all of the trees. <laughs> so I'm hoping that'll do for the Brachiosaur. We'll find out. That should be more than enough, right? He's probably going to need loads knowing me. So do we have a failure? We have one failure, but that's okay. We'll incubate the Stegosaur. Um, and the stegosaurs can go into this exhibit. So here we go. <gasps> Look at them. Aren't they beautiful? So we do have a T-Rex. Um, I think it's about time that now... Um, oh god, it's the Brachiosaurus is still here. However, Brachiosaurus is okay. Because T-Rex won't fight it. So, are you ready, guys? For Rexy to be... Re okay, fine. We're gonna, we're gonna start from that side. I'll grab it myself then. There we go. There. There she is. Let's see. Ground Camet. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, we did it. Right, okay. Well, you are going to be... You need fame, though. You need... If we're go Oh, God, yeah. This... Oh, wait, what? Okay, there's too much forest. I was going to say, if you're not happy with this enclosure, how is Indominus Rex going to be with this enclosure? I was going to say, if you kill that bloody Brachiosaur... If you... Please tell me you're not going to kill a Brachiosaur. Don't kill a Brachiosaur. Don't kill a Brachiosaur. Don't. Oh! 
Gordon Bennett. Oh, damn it. You're right, you flibbity gibbet. I worked my butt off for that Brachiosaurus. <laughs> well, you know what? That's fine. I didn't like the color of it anyway. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I didn't really like the Tundra pattern. So, let's go for just regular. It'll also increase its percentage chance. So, there it is. So, we've already failed another Stego. Um, you know what? Might as well just put in another Brachiosaurus because that's probably going to fail. Well, do you, did you get more combat? Oh, you got 103 combat infamy. Okay. So, Rexy, um, should we have her kill some Stegosaurs just to get a rating up? I think we should. We've got 78 for authenticity. Um, and everybody knows Rexy, right? If you're coming to Jurassic World, you know that this is an old girl who's been around from the beginning. So, she's probably going to have a combat infamy. Um, so, already, well, it killed the Brachiosaurus. la -dee da <laughs> So, the Stegosaur has 90 attack. The Rex has, what, oh, 109. Okay, so we could probably have it face off against one of the Stegosaurs. So we'll release one of them. Oh, wait, no, it's being sedated, right? Uh, can we just, like, scrap that? Thank you. <laughs> so we'll release that Stegosaur. Uh, let it kill it, and then we'll put another Stegosaur in. Oh, God, look! Look, this is supposed to be the restricted area. How come you are all there? And yet, nobody is walking up to it. Oh god, they're all walking through the hotel. Yes, come! Come see the restricted area! Yes! Fantastic. Oh, there is some people here. Because we do have the trikes. Uh, oh, that's right, we need to name these trikes. So we've got to call one Alan. Because, you know, favorite dinosaur. Um, this one... One big pile. Because of, uh, you know... Oh, ooh, you know what we should have? Yes! Malcolm, and you can be, or you should be Ian, shouldn't you? Ellie. We'll call you Sattler. For some, actually, you know what? We'll not call the other one Alan. We'll call it Grant. There it is. That's what we're waiting for. The fight to begin. Bam! <laughs> oh, Rexy, please don't. You're on 32. The Stego's on 35. Is Rexy going to die? Are you kidding me? 31. 35. I think Rexy might die. Oh, your, your health's going down even more? Oh, Stego's gonna kill you. Oh my god, I didn't expect this. Please heal it as quick as possible. If that Stego gets a hit, which I'm thinking it's going to. <laughs> Bam! Yep, that's it. 1%. Oh god, please heal it. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Stego's gonna kill the, kill Rexy. <laughs> this place is... BORD! <laughs> Buddy, it's dead. Oh God. Oh well, we may have a Brachiosaurus, but Jiminy Christmas, if it. Oh, good God. Well, we've lost Rexy. Let's just not call that Rexy, shall we? <laughs> so, you know what? It's gonna have regular skin, but we need to put up its attack. Good God. Um, can I put up its attack and lifespan? There you go. Yeah. Reaction speed. There you go. There you go. Stegosaurs for days. Because these guys are not going to be happy. So we need to sedate that. Sedate that. And remove the dead bodies. Oh, the Brachiosaur and the T-Rex. Fantastic. So far, Jurassic World is going amazing. Splendid. Very well. Very good. <laughs> All we have left is the, uh, the, the Triceratopses at the moment, who are kind of happy. Grant, Sattler, I mean, should we have Gennaro? Nah, I think we've got the three main characters there. That Brachiosaur, you, you see, you saw Jurassic, Jurassic World. You didn't see the failures. You saw the successes. You didn't see all the other ones that, you know, didn't make the cut, which is the Brachiosaur and the first Rex. In fact, actually, if we're going by... Oh, God, you failed? What the hell did you... The only thing is, that helicopter has to come all the way. In fact, is it close now? Yep, there it is. It's it's over here. <laughs> so, is this enclosure okay? It needs more forest and population. So, it needs at least two more. Two more stegos, because there's three of them in at the moment. Um, and we're making one, two, three, four. If two of them fail, that's fine. Um, but we're making Rexy, and hopefully Rexy doesn't fail again. Uh, disease outbreak control, because the dinosaurs were killed. <laughs> <laughs> not that I want it, not, not for trying, but uh, it, it's, it's, that's, uh, oh, look at that, it's just clapping like, yay! 
Watch the stegosaurs be sedated. You know what? I'm not going to move them until they're all ready. Um, because if I put them in and there's only two of them, they're going to break out. Ooh, who's ready? Wait, what? Oh, it said failed. Oh, well, there you go. There's there's two more failed stegos. <laughs> People are like, well, Beaver, why don't you just increase the success viability by 30%? And you are probably right. I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Uh, get an extra 30% and just lose out. Oh! Ooh, that's interesting. So even though I got it, um, I don't think it takes effect. It takes effect from the dinosaurs you start making once you've got that. So as soon as one of them's done, it'll close that out. So uh, so we got three stegos already. Uh, if these all succeed, you know, I won't be that fussed. But how are the Triceratopses like in their exhibit? Because they are not fussy at all. Um, their population will reach a limit. Um, it's not the best, but it seems- it looks like in this enclosure, um, Triceratops is gonna be the one that's gonna be annoyed the quickest. Um, so we need all these stegos. We need Paras and Apatosauruses as well. I don't think there was Ankylosaurs in there. So that's fine. I'm happy with that one failing. Uh, we've got two stegos just hitting over now. Uh, so that's great. T-Rex has succeeded. Um, if that stegosaur fails, that's okay. I don't mind that one fa uh, failing, because, uh, we need parasaurs in there. Parasaurs need four, I think. So, four parasaurs, four stegos, three trikes, and god knows how many apatosaurs, because I think they're another dinosaur that needs, um, a lot of social. So, how, how is everyone doing? Are you enjoying? Is anybody over here? Probably not. It'd be interesting to see if people come over here, because the only way for them to get through is um, through the Innovation Center. Although, actually, we do have a monorail here. Beavers thought of everything by accident, by complete chance leak. Um, oh, wow, that, I just realized that gyrosphere is really up high. What I wanted to do was to create, like, two gates here. So, instead of putting a gate at the side, because I thought that was a bit sloppy, and I thought maybe, you know, to access the Pachycephalosauruses, they have to go through there. Um, but it wouldn't let me. When you've got two gates really close to each other, it doesn't work. So, oh, they, they've all succeeded! Congratulations! Yay! Um, so we could sacrifice another slot for, like, speeding up by 30%. Um, but is it, I think it's probably just better just to have an extra slot rather than, uh, speeding them up. So once, we'll release these stegosaurs. Once the stegosaurs are moved out, um... I'll check to see. Oh, we should name them. Oh, we'll, um, we'll have this one, Sarah. Then we'll have this one as Sarah, Sarah, with one exclamation. Actually, no, this one, two exclamation marks, because <laughs> this one could have one exclamation mark. And what, what is it? Nick Van Owen says? He says, like, sit. He's like, Sarah, Sarah, sit, or something like that. I don't know. Sis, there you go. <laughs> uh, is that law? Is Sarah Harding, Nick Von Owen? So there you go, sis, and we'll wait for the other ones. Hopefully they don't die. Uh, oh, is that? Yes, Stegosaur ready. Um, so these aren't actually Jurassic World Stegosaurs because they don't droop their tail. Oh, no. Oh, it looks great, though. Don't you love this game? Oh, even after all this time, they're still beautiful. I'd almost forgotten. <laughs> so incubate. Um, so we should have Paris of I don't think Paris of us has a Jurassic World skin. Uh, maybe a toned down version. I'm trying to think. It wasn't as vibrant as that. And one thing I will say I don't necessarily like about evolution is the fact that all the small herbivores like Pachycephalosaurus and Stiggy Moloch stand no chance against any. And I mean any, like, small carnival. Nothing. Don't, nada. Don't stand any chance. They all get killed instantly. So there we go. Okay. So we'll just sedate these guys. Hut da da hut da da It makes sense, actually, when you think about it. When, um, in Jurassic World, when Masrani got in the helicopter, he got on it here and had to fly all the way over to wherever the Indominus Rex was. So it makes sense that it's actually quite far away. I was thinking about putting it here, but you know what? No. I think it's actually quite good here. So now we'll start the transportation of the Stegosaurus. So, but do to that. The uh, it's going to be a juggling act. I swear to God, as soon as one of them dies, Asset you're just going to get breakouts. So right now, 
everything seems to be okay in Jurassic Classic World. Uh, we shouldn't have opened, actually. Oh, you know what? We can close, can't we? I forgot about that. Close the park. We're not open for business. No. <laughs> no, get out. You're not allowed. Oh, no power. Oh, dear. Okay, we've lost power. Okay, that's fantastic. And we do have some power. And the little little one here, I mean, it's trying to pick up the slack. I guess I probably could have a bigger generator here. Should I do that? You know what? Sod it. Sod it. Sod it. Let's have a bigger generator. Only makes sense. Uh, let's have a large. How big? How big can we go? Oh, we can have a large? I didn't even realize. Yes. That way, at least if something breaks, then it's not too bad. Not too much of a loss. Oh, okay. Apparently the uh, path wanted to do that, eh? So, yeah, if you've got any nicknames for dinosaurs that you know are going to be, like, because we're going to make the Sukumo, the Baryonyx and what have you, uh, leave the comments uh, down below. And uh, I'll I'll try and nickname them those said names. So here come the Stegosaurs. Uh, so we'll place those in. And also we continue on with the story, like, unlocking, because um, uh, we haven't got all the skins either and haven't unlocked all the dinosaurs. So don't worry, guys. And I just want to say... Um, like, honestly, thank you so much for um, all the... I know I say it all the time, but I, I honestly mean it. Like, all the support that you guys have left on the series. Um, and I, I never expected it to um, keep its momentum. I mean, maybe I did because it's Jurassic World Evolution. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> but uh, I, I just want to say that, like, I really do appreciate... Um, all the support you guys uh, even like fan art. I know it's like so long into the video and now I'm finally showing off fan art uh, But like within two uh, two or three episodes people are making like Bruton fan art of like th there was like a really nice like side sh side profile and then there was like um, a, a Bruton from Lion King <laughs> You are my son <laughs> Oh God So I kind of want to put Bruton in <laughs> in this so, ooh, hatchery offline. Oh, oh, it, oh, yeah, that's right, because we're still making this. Completely forgot. Oh, are you? I was gonna say, don't hit the thing. We're, we're, look, I'm, I'm bringing other ones in. Okay, Delivery. don't start hitting the fences. It's still a closed pack. So, are we back online yet? We still haven't made that bloody generator. Oh no, we have. Okay, here we go. Improved output. Bam. Improved output. Bam. You know what? I'm not going at protection and protection and output. So we should have power to the whole park now. Yeah! Okay, what can we... Yeah, more paras. That's right. Um, there we go. And the T-Rex is ready to release. However, don't want to do that just yet. Oh, finally, the helicopter got here. It took its bloody sweet time. <laughs> he was like, wait, what? <laughs> and then got some today. There you go. Aha, uh -huh. look at you guys go. May even need another feeder, actually. So we got Sarah. Sis! Sarah! <laughs> and there's the monorail. We're closed. What are you doing? Aren't we? Aren't we closed? I thought I made it closed. Yeah, open park. We still got people here. God no, no. Um, so there you go. The last of the stegosaurs will be uh, transported over. Parasaurs. Oh, another power outage. What from this time? Oh, no, it's back. Never mind. Also, yeah, you guys keep... You told, you told me loads of secrets like, oh, you can um, uh, have your... Um, what do you call it? Your, uh, your Jeeps fix the uh, power outages. I didn't even realize, so... Um, but I wanted, even though we can't really have too many problems in this park, as in sabotages, I really wish you could, because that'd be amazing. Um... But we'll have storms, we'll have breakouts, you know, all the jazz. We'll, we'll actually treat this like Jurassic World. <laughs> we'll have Indominus Rex breakout and see how quickly we can get it without assigning tasks. Um, and I'll make the Indominus Rex resilience really high, which should mean... Wait, what? Wait, what's happened? What has happened? Um, excuse me? <laughs> what, what's he doing? <laughs> You you haven't picked him up. You've you've left him all the way up. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess we'll just say it worked. <laughs> so let's see what the power <laughs> looks like. So yeah, that's more Jurassic World. It's more of a toned down gray than it is um like the Jurassic uh, Lost World. Now your social need. 
I think your population could be pretty high. Even though you're more blue. You never know. Oh god, you're running. Yeah, your population can be quite high. However, you do need... What is going on, man? <laughs> what is going on? So we'll get another para. Uh, if we get all these, like one, two, three, four... Is four enough? I mean, I'll be able to check. Still these cables! <laughs> I wonder if he's just all of a sudden gonna go ping! And uh, teleport over there once he gets there. This will be an interesting thing. So, Stegosaurs, are you okay? I mean, we'll start work on everything else. But anyway, guys, I just want to leave it here. <laughs> just thought it was a cool episode. If you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.